Hello you guys. So before I start uh, my Lush Kitchen video, I have to show you something, okay? What I'm going to show you is called the Lush Crystal Ball Bath Bomb. <laughs> and here it is. And it lights up. And it's very, very heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo this gorgeous thing in the tub and I'll make a video here on YouTube of the Lush Crystal Ball bath bomb. So uh, look forward to that here on my YouTube channel and on my lushalot.com blog. Also, I have some bubble stones that I'd like to demo for y'all here on my channel this coming week as well. So. I'm going to be having a giveaway here on my YouTube channel just for my YouTube subscribers. So it'll be about uh, it'll be about two weeks from now, and at that time I'm going to be uh, giving some a very limited edition and exclusive items from the Lush Kitchen in appreciation of all you guys who <laughs> actually subscribe because you actually want to listen to my jabberings uh, which I, I just it still amazes me so now let's talk about the lush kitchen and what they're going to be making for anyone to buy uh through their website next week august 7th through august 11th lush says they're going to be making some classic lush products in the lush kitchen for us next week on monday lush is going to be having some snow cake scented products and they're going to be making smitten hand cream and marzipan bubble bar. So here's smitten hand cream and this was made again in the uh, very popular Lush snow cake scent which is almond, kind of a marzipan uh, fragrance. It's almond and a really light rose note to it and this is a very very thick hand cream very very thick it's not vegan because it has lanolin in it and if you like the scent of a marzipan then you would probably like smitten it says it's made with chamomile infusion as its first ingredient almond oil marigold infusion linseed oil organic cocoa butter wheat germ oil cold pressed avocado oil coconut oil, benzoin, rose, cassie, lanolin, and beeswax. It says beeswax creates a waterproof barrier over the skin, keeping it protected and moisturized. Almond oil adds another element of hydration. Your hands are in for a real treat with this moisturizing medley. So that's this was made originally a long time ago in like 2003 uh, for folks who live in areas of the world where it's really cold and windy. You know how you get, um, well I don't know how you get, but the people that live in those areas get um, chopped red hands and lips and things because it's so dang cold. That's what this was made for. It's a play on the word mittens. For your hands protective covering for your hands and smitten being smitten with somebody so and it has the snow cake scent it's a little too thick for me even um you know i live on the sun so i have the opposite weather of what this was made for so i don't really use it too often i would rate smitten a three and a half out of five rating Smitten hand cream is going to be £7.95, which works out to $10.38 if you're paying in U.S. dollars. Also on Monday, and also made in the snow cake scent, is a retro item called Marzabane Bubble Bar. And it's a white bubble bar with an almond in the middle, so that tells you it does smell almondy, just like all of the snow cake products. This one also has a little bit of Rose Absolute. It's a very light fragrance. So if you don't like very light fragrances, then you probably won't like this. This makes lots of creamy bubbles. I love marzipan. 
I would rate marzipan a 4 out of 5 rating. Marzipan is going to be £3.95, which works out to $5.16 if you're paying in US dollars. On Tuesday, Lush is going to be making a couple of vanilla items. The first one is the Vanilla Fountain Bath Bomb. And it's a pale yellow bath bomb. It looks like some kind of posh dessert or something. It's got a vanilla bean sticking out of the center top of it to make it look more like a dessert. And this was made in the popular Lush Vanillary fragrance. Lush sells a perfume called Vanillary in the stores. And it's made with vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And you know me, I love me some sandalwood, so naturally I love this. The vanilla and the sandalwood go so well together. So it's this creamy, sweet vanilla with this little sort of woody and scentsy edge behind it. It's so lovely. It doesn't turn the water any kind of a color. Um, and this is a slow, creamy fizzer. This is good for cocktailing with other foody, yummy kind of Lush products in the bath. Vanilla Fountain is going to be £4.25, which works out to $5.55. Also on Tuesday is the Vanilla in the Mist soap. It's a play on the word Gorilla in the Mist, which was a movie that was uh, playing at the time the soap was made. This is a retro, another retro item. They used to sell this back in 2009, 2010. Vanilla in the Mist soap was made with Vanilla Pod, coconut oil, vanilla, bergamot, and roasted cocoa extract. This is suitable for vegans. And this has some vanilla, vanilla beans, vanilla pod uh, pieces in it. It's a creamy soap. I would rate Vanilla in the Mist a 3 out of 5 rating. Vanilla in the Mist is going to be £4.50, which works out to $5.87. On Wednesday, Lush is going to be making Twilight scented product. So first on Wednesday, Lush is going to be remaking their very popular Twilight shower gel. A lot of people excited about this. This Twilight mania started when Lush made a bath bomb called Twilight, which they sell in all their stores right now. And it was made whenever the movie Twilight uh, came out in the book. And it's made with a lavender and creamy vanilla -y kind of a scent. So it's both herby and a little bit sweet and comforting as well. Lush initially wanted this to smell like lavender and malt. And that's why they made it with things like lactic acid and tonka bean. And so this has lavender flower infusion as its first ingredient. And then it has lactic acid, lavender oil, benzoin, tonka oil, and elang-elang oil. Twilight shower gels that the Lush Kitchen is going to be making next week uh, won't have the, uh, the silver sparkle in it. And um, it has a lovely kind of comforting, strong, lovely lavender scent with that tiny little creamy kind of vanilla -y note in the background. So it's very herby and comforting. It's comforting to use at night to help sleep. Lavender is often used to promote sleep. It's a beautiful purple shower gel. I have a close-up demo video of Twilight Shower Gel here on my YouTube video, and I'll leave a link to that below in the description box if you care to see the video. Lush is going to be selling Twilight Shower Gel in the same size, 250 ml, which is the uh, medium size. And this has a year uh, shelf life before it expires. When it's twilight in the sky, it's a really pretty purple color, and you can kind of see the stars coming out. That's why I like the sparkle about the original twilight shower gel. But uh, too bad they're not going to have any sparkle in the ones they're making next week in the kitchen. I would rate twilight shower gel a 5 out of 5. Normally, you know, um, without the sparkle in it, I don't know, I, um, maybe it's a 4 out of 5 rating. So that's Twilight Shower Gel. Twilight Shower Gel is going to be 11 pounds, which works out to $14.46. Also on Wednesday, the Lush Kitchen is going to be making Twilight Solid Perfume. Yay! <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It comes in a silver tin like this. It has a cocoa butter base. And it looks like this. It looks like a... 
you know, like all of the other solid perfumes. And it's a screw top. And it smells just like the Twilight shower gel, just like the Twilight bath bomb. And it has that lovely sort of slightly sweet, creamy uh, edge with the uh, bright, herby pop of lavender. It's a lovely. And so that's Twilight Solid Perfume. And of course, this is a meltable product. Twilight Perfume is going to be $9, which works out to $11.46. On Thursday, Lush is going to be making some Karma fragranced items in the Lush kitchen. So on Thursday, they're going to be making Karma shower jelly. And a shower jelly is an alternative to soap. You can use it as bubble bath. You can chop it up into pieces. You can use the whole, the whole wiggly thing in the shower as a big piece of soap if you'd like. It's a beautiful orange red color. Doesn't have any glitter in it. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a demo of Karma Shower Jelly here on my YouTube channel, and I'll uh, leave a link to that below in the description box. Beautiful color. Karma fragrance is a classic Lush fragrance. It's a retro fragrance. It smells of pine and orange and lemongrass and patchouli and a couple of other things. So to me, it kind of reminds me of like that hippie kind of head shop smell, you know, that it's kind of like, a, I don't know, it just smells, it's comforting, it's earthy, but it's also very citrusy because of all that orange in there, but it's not sweet at all. It's earthy orange and pine and patchouli. And um, it's very classic, really popular. You can cut this in slices and use a slice at the, uh, at the sink in the soap dish as a soap. I have a video here on my YouTube channel that shows how to use this as a bubble bath. Karma Jelly is going to be £8.25, which works out to $10.77. Also on Thursday, Lush is going to be making their Lush Balm. And the Lush Balm is made in the Karma fragrance and it's yellow and green. I don't have a Lush Bomb with me, but here's a picture I took of my Lush Bomb uh, from years ago. It's half yellow and half green because many years ago the Lush logo was not black and white, it was yellow and green. And so that's why this bath bomb is yellow and green and it's made in the scent of Karma. Lush has made a perfume in the past that I have called Lush. It's not called Karma, it's called Lush. And it sort of smells similar to Karma a little bit, but uh, the Karma bath bomb was made at that time when they were selling the Lush perfume and such. And someday I'll uh, show you that Lush perfume I have uh, from Christmas from Lush UK. It's a retro bomb from like 2001 and it's a really fast fizzer. They've made the Lush Bomb in the kitchen uh, three, uh, three or four times previous in the last year. Makes the water a gorgeous green yellow, bright green color. The regular size bath bomb. The Lush Bath Bomb is gonna be four pounds 25, which works out to $5.55. And on Friday, Lush is gonna be making a couple of items very popular new signature fragrance. It's called 29 High Street. They're going to be making the shower gel and the perfume. And they're going to be making uh, not the liquid perfume, but they're going to be making the solid 29 High Street perfume. It's a very uh, exclusive perfume. It's only sold at the 29 High Street store. Now, a lot of you have asked me, do they sell this at Oxford Street store? Now, I'm not positive. I, but for for a year or two, they have not sold this at the Oxford Street store because, again, it's exclusive to the 29 High Street store. The 29 High Street store is the original, very first original store, uh, which opened up in 1993 in Poole, England. And the address there is 29 High Street. And so 
they made this perfume to smell like a lush shop and so all those wonderful scents that you smell whenever you go into a lush store are uh, captured in this uh, solid perfume the prototype to 29 high street perfume was called hq perfume hq standing for headquarters lush headquarters which was at 29 high street and the creator of this perfume uh, hq 29 high street her name is pia and on my um on one of my videos where I got the HQ and the 29 High Street perfume about four years ago, uh, Pia explains how she came up with the fragrance of 29 High Street and HQ and what those Lush products were in the store that she thought of to make the fragrance. I'll try to find that video I have here on my channel and uh, link that down below. And I remember she had told me on my video that she had wanted to utilize scents like Karma, classic Lush store scents such as Karma, Creamy Candy, Honey I Wash the Kids, um, you know, Back for Breakfast, Avobath, those kinds of things. And those are the scents that make up the 29 High Street perfume. This has jojoba oil, Candelia wax, Elang Elang oil, sandalwood oil, jasmine oil, lime oil, Sicilian lemon oil, tonka bean, absolute. So it's floral and citrusy and sweet. Those are the three primary notes that I get out of the 29 High Street fragrance. And it really does smell like a Lush shop. It literally does. The first thing you smell is sweet jasmine and citrus. It's a perfect combination of flowers and fruits. That's slightly sweet in this. It's got a lot of throw. It wears well, it, it's long wearing. It's a great fragrance because it has a lot of staying power and a lot of throw. I love this fragrance. And here is the 29 High Street Shower Gel. And this shower gel is actually now more rare than the liquid perfume. I got this one from the actual 29 High Street store. I have a video here on my YouTube channel when Lush UK uh, headquarters flew me to uh, Lush UK headquarters. One of the many things they treated me to was um, a trip to the 29 High Street store. And I, uh, you can see in that video, I think I bought eight to 10 bottles of these <laughs> for my friends here in the States. That was such an amazing trip. I have a video here on my YouTube channel of uh, of that when I went into the 29 High Street store and uh, all of that fun on that whole trip. So it's exclusive. However, this is even more exclusive because I don't believe they sell this at the 29 High Street store. I could be wrong. And I don't believe that they sell this at the Oxford Street store either, but I could be wrong. They didn't used to. And so this was only made in the Lush Kitchen twice before only and only for one day versus this one, which is sold all the, all the time at the 29 High Street store. It's pretty rare. So it's a gorgeous amber color, as you can see, so pretty. And this one is made with jasmine flower infusion as its first ingredient, water, fresh lemon juice, Alang Alang perfume, sandalwood, jasmine, lime, lemon, tonka, lactic acid, gardenia, and uh, doesn't have a vegan sign anywhere on this bottle. It doesn't say it's vegan here where it usually does. It doesn't have the vegan sign anywhere like it usually does. Um, unless we're talking about the lactic acid. One of you who are vegan can um, educate us on if this is vegan or not. And so I would rate the shower gel a definite 5 out of 5 rating. I would rate the perfume a definite 5 out of 5 rating. Again, this is a meltable item. And the 29 High Street Solid Perfume is going to be 9 pounds, which works out to $11.75.
The 29 High Street Shower Gel is going to be £11.50, which works out to $15.01. And, and those are the items in the Lush Kitchen that they're going to be making for any of us to buy on their website at lush.co.uk slash kitchen next week, August 7th through 11th. And as far, I know you guys like me to kind of guess which ones are going to be selling the fastest next week. I would say Wednesday and Friday are going to be the really hot tickets in the Lush Kitchen. And I think Thursday is going to be a little bit too with the Karma Jelly. I think that the Twilight Perfume and Shower Gel, the Karma Jelly, and the 29 High Street Solid Perfume and Shower Gel are going to sell out so fast like I would I'm gonna guess that those five are gonna sell out in an hour what I'm gonna be getting is a lush bomb a marzipan bubble bar and maybe another 29 high street shower gel so uh, what's been going on this past week let's see uh, the creative showcase is going to be happening of course so uh, as I said in my last week's video, I've got a creative showcase page on my blog and I have a creative showcase from last year's creative showcase. I have Candy Lion from YouTube's video on my page and you can see what kinds of magical and crazy things go on at the creative showcase. Lush showcases and introduces all of their Halloween 2017 and Christmas 2017 products at the Creative Showcase in London. The Creative Showcase will be happening in September, so keep an eye on my page and my blog. I always list every single item that is shown at the Creative Showcase. I list them on my blog with photos, videos, pictures, and ingredients and descriptions. So if you're curious about what is going to be offered for the holidays, head on over to my blog. I'll leave a link to my blog here at the end of the video. I've reviewed and demoed all of the new uh, Lush Jelly Bombs from Lush UK. The Big Sleep, Green Coconut, Dark Arts, and uh, I also have a demo of Ectoplasm here that I got from the Lush Summit. And uh, the Lush Marmalade Jelly Bomb uh, is now being sold, so I'll be getting those as well in a couple of days. I'm going to be doing a big old haul video soon. I was going to chop it up because I literally have gotten one, two, three, four, six, six or seven orders uh, from Lush. <laughs> and so instead of doing six or seven haul videos, I'm going to wait until I get all my packages and all my orders here. And then I'm going to do one big haul video of all six packages. And I have demoed and reviewed all of the new jelly facial masks from Lush UK, Birth of Venus, 1000 Millihelens, Just to Clarify, Bunny Moon, and FOMO. And I show those up close and how they work and what they're like here on my YouTube channel, so you can check those out. This coming week, I'm gonna be doing a review of the new Twilight Body Spray, the Rose Jam Body Spray and the Love Body Spray, as well as the Self Esteem Machine Lush Body Spray. And I also have all of the Gorilla 4 perfume scents that I need to uh, review. I also have reviewed and demoed uh, the Rump Bottom Rub from Lush here on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago. So, and uh, so yeah, so that's about it. So if you have any questions about any of these products, just comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. If you enjoy this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and subscribe to my channel and, and hit that bell below. And that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new Lush video here on my channel, which I do from one to five times every week. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you very soon on my next video. Bye-bye.